Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Today I've got a tutorial video with the five best tips to make you instantly better in Warzone. Some of these tips are for people who have never played before, and some are for more advanced players. I'm gonna hop straight into these tips in just a second, but before I do, keep in mind that I'm new to YouTube and I'm trying to grow this channel, and I do need you guys' help. If I was able to help you out with any of these tips, please leave a like and subscribe. So without any further ado, let's hop into the first tip. Tip number one, the mini map. Best thing about this tip is you can do it right from the main menu, man. Go ahead and press start, tab over to general, and go down till you hit HUD. Change the mini map shape to square. What this is gonna do for you is give you 40% more mini map. And the mini map is super important. You can see where you are in relation to the map, nearby buildings, your teammates' pings, enemy locations, and much more. Just making this little change is gonna put you at a huge advantage over people who haven't. While this might seem like a simple change, I can't stress how important this is. The minimap displays information that is vital to winning engagements. Having it 40% bigger is going to give you more information overall. One of the biggest differences between a good player and a great player is the ability to read the minimap. With this tip, you'll be turning a simple knock into a squad wipe in no time. And that brings us to tip number two. This one is right from the main menu again. Press start, tab over to general, and go down to the bottom two settings in accessibility. Turn world motion blur and weapon motion blur to disabled. Check out this comparison here. When those settings are enabled, the game intentionally makes the background and weapon blurry when you're moving around. I honestly have no idea why you would ever turn these on or why this is even a setting in the game. Warzone is played on a massive map with long lines of sights and it's hard enough to see enemies at a distance. Leaving this on enabled would leave you at a huge disadvantage. Go ahead and disable these two settings and you'll start winning a lot more of those long range gunfights. All right, tip number three is one of our more advanced tips. You can be an amazing player in every aspect of the game, but if you don't do this simple thing, you're at a huge disadvantage. If you guessed it from the clip right there, points to you. Tip number three is pointer finger to plate. Too many players take their finger off the movement stick to plate up, leaving you immobile if caught healing, and more importantly, you can't run and heal at the same time. If you have to go find a spot to hide to heal, you're already taking too much time. Why not multitask by running and healing at the same time? Not only are you saving time, but if an enemy player has you weak and is chasing you, he's not going to suspect you're healing while you're running away. If you play it right, you'll be able to quickly turn the fight into your favor by re the unsuspecting chasing enemy with full health. Now I know this is tip number three, but honestly I didn't put too much time into the order of these. This little tip's an extremely simple way to get yourself levels ahead of the competition. Tip number four is another advanced tip, the bunny hop. There's certain movement mechanics you can do across each Call of Duty that are game-breaking and will help you win twice as many gunfights if you master them. In Modern Warfare, it's the bunny hop. In every other COD, when you hit a second jump in a row, the second jump is much smaller and slows you down. In Modern Warfare, the second hop actually speeds you up and is just as high as the first one. In Warzone, you have more health, which means the gunfights are longer and more drawn out. Which means you can get more than just one bunny hop in. If you keep spamming jump after this, you'll continue to hop around and you'll be extremely hard to hit. Look at this guy here. He only hits me once just because I'm pressing jump a bunch. And for tip number five, we're going to be bringing it back to a nice simple setting change. But like the other ones, this is going to make a big difference. Press start and scroll all the way down to movement. Turn slide behavior to tap. Changing this is going to make it so just a quick tap of the slide button is going to start your slide. In COD, every second counts and holding the slide button to slide is going to cost you time where your finger's off the movement stick and you're going to get killed. To use the slide offensively, sprint at a corner, press slide, and then press aim in and start shooting. But more importantly is how to use the slide defensively. If you're caught in the open without cover, then spamming double sprint to slide while changing direction is going to make you extremely hard to hit. Check out this clip here where I clutch up to win the game with basically no plates no. and no ammo. And that wraps up our five tips to make you instantly better at Warzone. Let me know if you think I missed any in the comments below and be sure to check out my other videos. Again, if I was able to teach you anything here today, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, see ya. Let's go, man. other videos. Again, if I was able to teach you anything here today, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.